I've been to Norway and I was impressed at the level of English spoken there. Uh, I was humbled as well. So, uh, in small uh, token of my appreciation for that, I'm going to try to pronounce at least once um, Peter Vessel Sofe's name correctly. It's not that unpronounceable, but I don't know if anyone in the Anglosphere would know who I was talking about if I kept talking about Sofe. Um, so I guess I think we call him Zapfe. So I guess that's what I'm going to call him from here on in. He's an interesting fellow, uh, and I think that a lot of people, at least from my understanding of what he has to say, misunderstand what he is saying. Um, a few things that crop to mind when I think about him and my understanding of what he has to say. Uh, the first being his view of the paradox of existence, and I would almost call it the hellish nature of existence, where we have inherent desires or inherent longings that we are inherently uh, not prohibited but inherently blocked or inherently unequipped to fulfill. I would just ask any Zapfiite out there why would anyone say that? That, as I've pointed out elsewhere, is an argument from ignorance. I would say it's an even worse uh, argument than an argument from ignorance because we, there are people out there who say that we do have the necessary equipment to meet all of our longings. <laughs> now, why don't we go after those people and explore their ideas? and uh, see how far we get. Um, now, we've got to remember, what I'm talking about here is satisfying longings. I'm not talking about selling ideas here. I'm not talking about making sense of these ideas in ways that you or I can find rational. What I'm talking about is the satisfaction of existential longing, or sat the satisfaction of the longings that Zapfi says are unsatisfiable. There are plenty of people in this world who would powerfully disagree with him. He's put himself in a somewhat arrogant position, um, although with the characteristic uh, impish grin of saying that, well, I know better, and anyone who uh, satisfies their longings only does so at the expense of common sense. That, too, is an argument from ignorance. <laughs> Unless he can tell uh, from an examination, a very cursory examination of everyone who has ever believed that they have satisfied their existential longings, that they're basing their whole idea on um, some sort of contortion or distortion of common sense, unless he can actually prove that, good luck, uh, he is making an argument from ignorance. He is uh, giving, he's saying that there is uh, evidence of absence. It's a very basic logical fallacy here. So he says that we're unequipped to meet the longings that are inherent in being human. Prove it, Mr. Zapfi. The second thing is this idea of his four prognoses, his four prescriptions. Um, the most interesting one that I find, I suppose, is distraction. He says that this is something that we ought to do. <laughs> Isn't it something that we've already been doing since we became human beings? Since we created this bizarre thing called civilization? Isn't playing bingo or 
watching a football match or um, taking up basket weaving, bicycle riding, becoming a Republican, or uh, joining the Boy Scouts, or fighting in a war. Isn't that all just one gigantic species of distraction? Isn't religion the ultimate distraction? Nothing like religion to completely suspend any inconvenient realities out there. Are we sure that Mr. Zapfi isn't having us all on and using somewhat um, clever logic to prove something that he comes that he actually overtly says he doesn't believe in at all? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if uh, somebody came forward and said, I'm his son from his legitimate uh, uh, marriage. Uh, in fact, I've got four four brothers, but um, we were all uh, just sort of kept quiet because we didn't want to mess up his, uh, his uh, antinatalist credentials. I, I'm not a philosopher. I've not spent my life attempting to be a good philosopher. Anyone who listens to my philosophy can tell that. Um, but if I can sort of see through this sort of thing, or I don't really even say see through it, but if I can see a way around, a very easy way around, um, Zapfi's philosophies, I rather suspect he could as well. <laughs> Thank you.